Hey guys, here are your video directions for how to use Wikipedia to research. Okay, so I know most teachers tell you Wikipedia is a horrible resource because anybody can go and update it. And technically that's true, but I'm going to teach you how to use Wikipedia to find credible sources. All right, so like say I wanted to research the greatest basketball player of all times. Um, that's why I have Michael Jordan up, not LeBron James. Anyway, that's a whole other argument. We can get into that later. But say I wanted to do a research paper on Michael Jordan. So here's some things to notice about Wikipedia. First of all, anytime you see something in light blue, that means there's more information there. It's either going to link you to a different page or it's going to define whatever it is you're looking at. So right now, NASCAR Cup Series, it goes ahead and defines it. If I click on it, it's going to take me to another Wikipedia page, which technically, like we said, anybody can update. So I don't always want to use that. I can. But let me show you how to find the actual credible sources. So you may notice that at the end of some words, there are numbers here. These are footnotes. And it will actually connect you and send you straight to the sources at the bottom that no one ever looks at. There's references on Wikipedia. So this one must be a book. Let's look at this one. Another book. Let's look at this one. Huh. The New York Times. That seems credible, right? So let's just click on a number to see. It'll take you down here to the bottom. References. So we clicked on number 12. We know the New York Times is mostly reputable. If you click down here on the blue link, guess what? It will take you directly to that exact piece of text from the New York Times, and you can reference this instead. Pretty good, right? So once again, click on the blue links, go directly to that page, and you can use Wikipedia. As simple as that. Hope this helps you out.